So you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how to download offline maps on Apple Maps. Now, doing this is fairly basic, but remember, you have to be on iOS 17 to do this. Don't install the beta, just wait until the official version comes out. If you already have an iPhone running iOS 17, you want to open up your Apple Maps application. Now, when you do this, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and tap on your profile icon that is right here. So go and swipe this thing up, tap on your profile icon, and you should see a new option that says offline maps. So what you're going to want to do is type in or tap on the offline maps option, then click on download new map. So click on download new map, and you can go ahead and type in exactly what map you want to download. So in this case, if I just go ahead and type in New York City as an example, I can tap on the New York City option right here, and it will go ahead and bring up this little panel. Now, depending on the map, it's probably going to be very large. So this one's going to be 671 megabytes so that's kind of a lot but what you can do is you can actually go ahead and convert this down a little bit and you can make things smaller or bigger so let's say i don't want all of new york let's say i just want this little area of new york right here so i can go ahead and bring this down as much as i can and you can see the size gets smaller and smaller so i'm still at 332 megabytes which is huge so i'll just keep bringing this as small as i can and i think i can zoom in as well so now it's going to be much and much smaller so this i guess is the most i can go and zoom out in so now I can go ahead and move this around too, and it's going to conveniently change this size as well. So whenever I'm ready, I can go and click download and watch what happens. It's going to start downloading this map in the background. And in the meantime, you can configure some of these other options. So if there's an automatic update of the map, you can go and install it, which I'd recommend keeping on. You can choose, you can choose whether you want to download over Wi-Fi or whatever, you can optimize storage as well. But then what you can do is you can go and click here and you can go ahead and view that map. Now you can delete the map if you want to and all these other things. And if you want to see the map that you've already downloaded, again, you just tap on offline maps here and you can go and see the map here and you can even download the new map that you had before. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.